Hey, this is Jeremy from Shine Insurance. We're here today with the Vice President Branch Manager of Ruoff Mortgage here in Bloomington, Indiana, Ryan Langley. He's a mortgage lender, and today we're going to talk about um, the three things you should look for when you're considering a, a mortgage company, a mortgage lender, when you're purchasing a new home or maybe refinancing uh, your mortgage, whatever it is you're looking for in a lender. We're just going to talk with Ryan real quickly about the three things that you might want to want to consider. So hi, Ryan. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So let's start off with the very top. What's the first thing someone should look for when they're looking for a mortgage a mortgage lender? Yeah, so I think the first thing that you want to look for is um, a good communicator. The, uh, the mortgage process has become more and more difficult over the years, uh, especially with new regulation. It does take a uh, specialized uh, mortgage lender to get you through the process. So the number one thing probably is going to be the communication piece of it. You want to have somebody that understands what you're getting into, uh, can explain it uh, carefully and thoroughly to you. And and how do you get a sense right in the f the front end of it? I'm imagining, you know, calling a company or making a connection. Are there some, you know, either green flags or red flags that you might see from a, a lender right off? Um, I think red flags immediately would be somebody that doesn't call you back, uh, <laughs> that doesn't respond uh, mm -hmm. to your um, phone calls or text messages or emails within a reasonable period of time being, you know, for most of them would be within 24 hours. If you're waiting three or four days uh, to get responses <laughs> back from your uh, mortgage lender, more than likely um, uh, they uh, just aren't quite as on top of it as what they necessarily should yeah, be. Yeah, they certainly aren't going to be the best communicators. That's and right. I think that all, probably yeah. goes for yeah. almost any industry, but that certainly is a good example of a red flag. Yeah, yeah. And I think one of the uh, ways that you can tell if you're going to be working with a good communicator, um, just like in any business, the word of mouth, if you get a good referral, uh, whether it be from uh, insurance agent, realtor, uh, friend, neighbor, um, if they're giving you a good recommendation of those. So that usually goes along with a good communication. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're getting a, a referral from somebody else, um, typically that means that they're a pretty good communicator. Mm -hmm. So re referrals, I think, probably are the number one great way to find a mortgage lender. Absolutely. Uh, and I think that one of the probably the worst ways to go about finding a mortgage lending company is to do a quick online search without doing any research. A lot of times what you'll find is that you're going to get a better interest rate. However, you're going to get poor communications and uh, there's a higher likelihood that you're not going to close in a timely fashion. So, so poor communication, the potential for that lower front end interest rate, rate turning into maybe something different by yep. the, the time everything's closed. Mm -hmm. That yeah. seems like the two things yeah. I hear the most too, just that, yeah. and that's all about the communication throughout. Right. Um, or, or closing 30 days after you were supposed to or losing that property because the bank you know didn't follow through with the things they needed to follow through and you couldn't close on the date right. that you needed to close does that happen i just kind of made that up but Th that happens that absolutely <clears throat> and that's actually one of the other mm -hmm. bullet points that i have to discuss and that's you know the knowledge and experience of the lender okay well um, let's let's jump into that is that sure. your number two so the knowledge yeah. and experience of the lender tell yeah. us about that yeah so you want to be real careful, and, and what you'll find oftentimes is that, especially when a lender may be focused on lowest interest rates, and that might be the only thing that they have to offer, but they may also only have a mortgage loan officer or originator that have been on the job for six, six months to a year. You just can't put a price tag on the knowledge and experience factor of somebody that's been in the industry and working it for for numerous years. So um, here where we work, we've got mortgage loan originators that have been in the business from anywhere from five years to 40 years. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got that knowledge and that experience behind them um, that understands what loan programs uh, work, what loan programs may not work. You just can't uh, put a value on that and what that means because there's so much more that goes into mortgage lending than just the interest rates. Okay, so let's we, we, we've talked about communication, we've talked about knowledge and experience. What is the third thing that you feel folks should look for when they're looking for a mortgage lender? Yeah, I, I think that it's very important that a lender has a, a very broad um, base of product offerings. Mm -hmm. um, not every loan not every customer that walks in the door is going to need the exact type of loan. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's situation is unique. Can you give just a couple of examples? Sure. Well, I think a lot of us don't, we know the word product, but what might be a, a mortgage product? Sure, sure, sure. So oftentimes, and that's what we do, and that's where the knowledge and experience comes in, mm -hmm. is 
we'll have customers that'll come in thinking that they want a conventional mortgage, um, which would be the more traditional style mortgage loan. Mm -hmm. Um, But as we start talking to the customer, we find out that, well, maybe they only have enough money for three and a half percent down, which would put them into an FHA Mm -hmm. type category loan. Uh, of course, there are products available for conventional with 3% down, um, you know, and that's where a good loan officer having those two different products that are unique in some ways, but very different, mm-hmm. uh, would take those and look at them both side by side and say, okay, does it make more sense for this customer to have a 3% down conventional loan product? Mm-hmm. Does their income work with it? Mm-hmm. Uh, do they have the right down payment funds? Is it coming in the form of a gift or is it coming from their checking account? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, or does it make more sense for them to be in an FHA loan product? It really depends on their credit score. Because mm-hmm. um, a lot of times that credit score is going to make more sense for them to go into an FHA product versus the conventional loan product. Mm-hmm. Um, so that would be one situation. Mm-hmm. Um, we also, you know, we have a lot of customers come in and say, okay, I, I've got some debt, maybe a lot of debt. So I'm not really saving enough money. What are my product options in? Well, maybe we'll put you on a USDA loan where you can do 100% financing. Um, so there are products out there that might be available to those that don't have savings build up whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, that's something that we would do is if it didn't work for the ones that had required down payments, we'd look at ones that maybe we could do 100% financing mm-hmm. on. So, so the more product offerings so, uh, somebody has, the more that you as a consumer can walk in and say, here's my situation, here's my savings or no savings, my credit, good credit, bad credit, um, you know, all these different things that are important for how you choose your mortgage mm-hmm. and, a, and a, a company with a wider array of product options can direct you to something that more properly fits you. Exactly. Okay, so good product offerings. How can somebody have any idea what what kind of product offerings one mortgage company has versus another? I I think that's a perfect segue into the five steps for uh, getting into a mortgage. So (laughs) okay, so if if someone wants to know exactly how to figure that out, they Mm -hmm. can check out our other video on our YouTube channel. That is Mm -hmm. the five steps to getting a mortgage from beginning to end. We'll walk you through the process, and they can listen to that and really get a sense of how you can tell the difference between. Uh, one mortgage company to the other. That's right. All right. Well, Ryan, this was awesome. I feel like I learned a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, I hope folks that are watching uh, do as did as well. And uh, we'll look forward to more conversations with you in the future. If folks want to find uh, you or your mortgage company, how can they do so? Okay. So if you're looking for a, a mortgage with a Ruoff Home Mortgage here in Bloomington, uh, the best contact number is 812-650-3800. I'll get you to our office. Uh, You can also find us online at ruoff.com. So again, that's www.ruoff.com. Or simply send me an email. It's ryan.langley at ruoff.com. All right. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video and you feel like you want to learn more about the new home buying process, we've got another perfect video for you. If you go to our YouTube channel and check out the new home buyer's guide, it lays out from beginning to end the whole process, from thinking that you want to buy a house all the way through the purchase process and the closing and even talks a little bit about your mortgage payment afterwards. So definitely go and check that video out. And then of course, please subscribe to our channel. We uh, love to put out great information for you. We're happy to have it in your inbox as soon as it goes live and uh, you can check it out and learn from it. And of course, if you feel like great things are happening at this channel, please do share on your social networks. All right. Until the next time, have a wonderful day.